So, yes, we we're familiar with the hose. What's going on here? Let's see if I can do anything. It's unfortunate. Whoa. Oh, man, the freaking monkeys. Stop it. That. Man, they run, too. They really run. Break some windows. Cause some general havoc. So, you already know these things are going to do. Come on, Buckley. You were made for this. Oh. What are you doing, dude? Pull those bombs up. I don't know why you didn't do it. Oh. Crushed. These guys actually made out pretty well, though. I expect them to have problems. That's not what happened. Anyway, so we've also seen laser, bowling ball, bomb, bouncy ball. We've seen most of these. Fire hose as well. Gotta put out the fire. Extinguished. Why'd that make the place explode? There we go. I'm kind of curious what will happen if I do this. Might knock the ground out from beneath them. Oh, there you go. Bye, Buckley. A little bit of water to solve everything. Yeah, it's a little overpowered. It's a little powerful. Apparently. Tennis ball. I don't know what this thing's gonna do compared to anything else. It's not even that bouncy. Oh, yeah, it is. No, no! Hit by a stray bouncy ball. Or a tennis ball, I guess. I kind of wish I put something in here. I kind of intended to, but I guess I did it for some reason. So this, I intend for this guy to do something. It didn't really work out that way. Same with golf ball. I'll, show, I'll try it just to see what it's like, but I don't really know why you'd want it. It bounces a lot. There's so much stuff in this stuff. I'm making the game lag a lot. What else is there? So we have the heavy bomb. Oh, didn't they call it big bomb earlier? It's a big bomb. It's really big. So it's more powerful than a normal bomb, supposedly. Look how big its explosion is. Shoot. Yeah, so for example, if we throw it in here, it does that. It's a little bit stronger than a normal bomb, I think. So let's try it out. See what, this is what normal bomb does. Yeah. <laughs> and then, it's a little bit of a difference. We switch to the heavy stuff. It's a meaningful distinction. Oh my god. Whoa. Look, he's went away. It's not gonna bring that house down or anything like that, though. It's interesting. You need a really strong explosion to do that, apparently. <laughs> Bouncing around in there. Alright. We'll, we'll save the nuke for later. Uh, have we done the eight ball yet? I think we have. Oops. There we go. We can knock out... We should just knock out all the foundations of the... Uh, yeah, so they can fall that way. Oh, no, no! Whoa! Where's that too? Hi, Buckley. You gotta sell off those bombs yet, dude? There we go. Yeah, I didn't tend to to lag as much, but, uh... There we go. No collateral damage, surprisingly enough. What are you even throwing stuff at? Stop it. They're just trying to throw the vanish blocks. Nice. Okay. 
Bowling ball hose? I don't think we've used this. This is going to be a little questionable. Yeah, I mean, it's the same stupidity you should probably expect it to be. It's one of those just because they can sorts of things. Because they can give you a tool like this, they kind of figure they should. How do you even survive, cat? Holy crap. There we go. It's amusing. It's existence is amusing, though. Shotgun, oh yeah. So it fires a couple, uh, small shots together. You can see him here. They don't move that fast, though. It's not like the, uh, six-shooter. Quiet. It takes a really long time to reach its destination, actually. It's kind of weird. Wreck a ball, it's probably like a bouncy ball. Yeah, kind of like a heavier bouncy ball, I guess. Not even, except not even that bouncy. Coconut, we already seen the skull ball, thankfully. Okay, so this so coconut is pretty much like the skull ball, actually. And ghost gun. We already used ghost gun. There's no there's no real appearance to this in a normal laser, I don't think. I've got to figure it out. And, and all, all of its graphics are just a recolor of the laser, too. Oh yeah, and then the laser hose. Which doesn't necessarily fire as many lasers as I might hope. I won't necessarily be impressed by it. It's just, it's, it's, what, it's a much better rate of fire. I, you know what, I have an idea. I have an idea after after this. So we're, we're gonna try out the nuke and see what this is like. So that was disappointing. Oh wow, it blew some stuff up over there. So let's see what it's like compared to other stuff over here. Yeah. So that's what the nuke does. <laughs> it blew up this house over here. So that's your ultimate reward for 100%ing this game. This guy's a resilient. We get this thing. See, see what it's like throwing a bomb next to the window? Not very bad, apparently. There we go. So this is what you probably expect from something like this. Dude, it's not really sturdy as much as I would think. This is a super sturdy house. It's just too big and heavy. There we go. That's like what I was hoping for. No survivors. Throw something at the ground here. I see its range. Its range is a bit shorter than you would hope for, I think. But its power in that range is pretty awesome. Luckily, stop resisting its weapons. So that's what we get. That's our ultimate prize. But you know what? I had an idea. One more thing would be kind of entertaining. Just make life a little bit more uh, interesting. Got it. What? I didn't get any points for that. I'm not getting any points! What are you doing? Okay, here we go. Get a better score this time. Now, why are there no characters off in the background? Here we go. Like this one now. Aha! I get a good score this time. It's beautiful. This is what we need the whole time. 
Let's see, why you could have just done this? This is a lot more bearable. Still better to just go for the ones in the middle. In this part, though, I think. I can even hit the. I can even hit these ones. I think. I still managed to miss some 50s, though. I like that line I'm drawing in the sky in the background. Oddly enough, I just managed to get 800, and I actually managed to do better without the laser hose before, but whatever. Anyways. <laughs> so, so what is that? That is, well, uh, everything. So, uh, that's Boom Blocks, the entire thing. And that's a very long episode of it, too. Oh man, we're on a very long episode. <laughs> I might have to break this up or something, I don't know. But, uh, in any case, man, two hours. It's been a long time since I've done a two-hour recording session. Without Stamon RKO, at least. Haha, it seemed like for you to hit this time, cow. Front cow. But, uh, this is an odd little game that I, I get the impression it was marketed like crazy because I think Steven Spielberg just had a bunch of money. And, uh, no one really, it didn't really take to people. I don't know why. I thought this was actually really fun. I don't know if it just didn't really sell at all, if nobody actually really talked about it despite its adverts. Or if it was advertised in the wrong place. I don't know. I just like this game a lot. I had a lot of fun with it, and uh, I just never let's play it because I thought it would make, wouldn't make a very good let's play sort of game. I'm still kind of hesitant to say it does because I, I kind of have a role that puzzle types of games truly really aren't good for let's plays because it's not always fun to watch a person try to go through their thinking process when you already know what the solution is, and it's kind of frustrating seeing them not do well. And if you don't know what to do at all, then you probably are just kind of sitting there waiting for them to come up with a solution, so I don't think it always works out that well. But I had a lot of fun doing this, I hope you guys liked it in some capacity. And it's not like there's really much of any recognition of this game on YouTube in the first place, aside from, aside from a, custom, a couple of custom levels that people have made, which is awesome. I recommend checking those out and looking for those as well. Like, someone made a bunch of retro games, and this, for example, uh, like Donkey Kong. I don't, know if I, I don't think maybe Pong, but things like that. It was really nice. But uh, where the action is really at is this game's sequel. I, to a certain degree, played this specifically. How, how many voice act, how many voiceovers do we have in this game? Six people for voiceover talent? What? But uh, so again, I was playing this largely just to get to its sequel because I like the sequel way more than this. But I had a lot of fun with this game too, and I'm happy to have played it. And now I've actually understand the game. That's always a really good feeling to have, having gotten everything out of a game. Because I, I talk about this sometimes on this channel. Like, the idea is showing everything that the game has to offer. Like that whole beating game so you don't have to uh, motto, I guess, that my channel I think used to have. I don't think it pops up anywhere anymore because I don't think channel text is a thing on YouTube anymore as of maybe a few years ago. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> thing is I always want to let people experience a game that they want to experience themselves and be able to appreciate all the work that was put into a game. Because a lot of time, a lot of time and effort and money and resources and sometimes even love are put into a game and those games just don't really get seen. And letting people see those are is pretty much what I like to do. As well as people that have forgotten about something and want to go back to something that they remember they had a lot of fun with. For example, this game is nostalgic for a number of people, I'm sure, like it is for me. Not to the same degree that some other things are, like Blinks or Klonoa, things that are a bit older and that have a much more important place in my memory. But this is still fun, I'm happy to have played it again, and Harvesting it means, hey, I got everything I can out of this for the most part, aside from, I guess, this game's multiplayer and create mode, but I showed off what there was to be seen about it. I, don't, I never came up with anything especially interesting in this game's create mode either. Uh, create mode is, will be a much bigger subject. I'll talk a lot about that in the game's sequel. As to why and all that, well, I'll get to that when we get to it. But, following this, I do intend to immediately begin playing Bash Party. I don't think I'd be able to actually be patient enough to not play that yet, because I really, really, really want to play it. <laughs> I enjoy that game so much in terms of thing, just about everything is better for the most part, but I'll explain all that when we actually start playing that game. For now though, this game is nice. I think there's more that could have been. I'm really bugged that lots of the levels 
have things that you can't do in your own custom levels. I don't think that a game that's built this way where you have a level editor that's really capable, where you have levels that are designed quite clearly in a developer's le editor, I don't think those sorts of games are really sorts of games where you should be doing things that only developers can do in certain cases. And by that I mean that I don't think there should be things like uh, players not being able to use, for example, different colors of uh, gem blocks or not being able to use spawners for points or for characters or whatever without a really good reason for it. And there are lots of things like that in this game that are for some reason just there. But the sequel is at least slightly better at that, I think, if I remember right. In any case, I'm so thinking that I have more things to say, but I'm also kind of forgetting what I have to say, which is an odd experience to have. But I kind of wanted to wait out the rest of the credits just for the sake of having all of them shown, because I usually like to have credits shown at the end of a playthrough. It gives me time to talk about a lot of things and make sure that I'm not forgetting anything that I want to say about the playthrough or the game itself. And at the same time, it's, hey, you know, show things. This uses the Havoc Engine, that's interesting. Building pretty much entire game of the Havoc Engine, then. Join us. Who? Who? Where, where do you see? That's that? Yeah, it's kind of weird this game has no like, real ending to it. Get 100%, they just have all this stuff, and that's that. I'm pretty sure the sequel's the same way, but I never got 100% in that, so I couldn't really say for sure. But, uh, I'm, I'm happy with it. This game offers some fun stuff, and that's kind of all there is to it. It's a fun thing to do. If you like puzzles or physics blowing things up, this game is really fun, I think. And while it could be more, I think it is more in its sequel, so I see this game as like a stepping stone to its sequel, which I think was kind of the ultimate boom blocks. Not that that game couldn't be improved either, but well, it wasn't because no more boom blocks games were made, so <laughs> I guess I'll leave it at that. But in any case, thank you all for joining, and thank you all for watching this far as well, if you're actually hearing me say these words, because I don't think almost anybody actually listens to these big endgame rants that I usually have. But in any case, I'll see you guys next time in the next playthrough of Boomblox Bash Party! The next game in the new Boomblox series, the final game in the Boomblox series, the best game in the Boomblox series. I'm very, very happy to be playing it, assuming there aren't any technical difficulties that nobody reported years ago on the Dolphin Emulator Wiki. <laughs> we'll deal with that when we get to it, though, because it worked out in this game. Some technical difficulties, but it all worked out anyways. So, say goodbye, sheep. He says bye. Bye, everybody!